Best way I can. All right, fans, we're backstage here at Sapporo once again. I. NJPWworld.com's coverage of the new beginning event. I'm Kevin Kelly. It's complicated. You can't label it. I apologize for my it's voice. It's thing in wrestling. I'm telling you. It's like, sorry. Where I've been taking calls about the ending of the show. I understand. People asking me to explain the unexplained. You know. Well, okay. what we do know is this. We know that we have a, and first of all, thank you very much for joining us here. Uh, we hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation, a new beginning in Sapporo. Uh, amazing night. We have two new champions here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Let's start off with that. Let's start off with what we do know. We know that Rapongi 3K has unseated the Young Bucks to become the new IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. We do know that Switchblade Jay White pulled the biggest upset in New Japan history and is now the new US Champion. That's right. Switchblade Jay White just beat Kenny Omega. How can you talk about this? Is a disaster. Well, that's for you. This is it for for the elite. That's for the fans of the elite. I was starting with what we know, and the facts are that we have two new champions crowned. What we don't know is the level of discord. Is it irreparably severed? Cody, the driving force behind attacking Kenny Omega after the match, after the match, and everything had started to break down. It looked like they were going to settle it. It looked you, like everything was. You clear. think this? They can come back from this. That's what you think. You think Cody left Kenny laying right. in the ring. Cody took a chair from you and was going to cave in Kenny's skull. Right. You think they could come back? I'm going to go on the record. You, Cody, Cody is a. Okay. He's a jerk. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. This is a case of his so now, massive ego. Now this is this is the feelings. This is the feelings that you've had. This is the feelings that everybody's had since day one about Cody being in Bullet Club, isn't it? I mean, let's just say. Kenny it. pushed uh, Matt Jackson down to the floor, accident. who has an injured back. Yeah, but accident. Cody caused it. Cody Cody's causes Cody. all the heat. Okay. You have been Typical the apologist. You've been in the apologist for the Bullet Club since day one, and I get it, I understand your family I'm a with broadcast Omega. journalist. I understand your family with Omega. But we must step back now, and we must look at what we do know. We know that at New Year's Dash, Cody was ready to destroy Kota Ibushi with a chair, and it was Kenny Omega that made the save. And we also know that tonight, as Cody was going to do the same thing, this time to Kenny Omega, that it was Kota Ibushi that made the save. And then from there, Something that fans have waited for for years finally happened. Reunited Kenny Omega and Kota. Ibushi. There was a moment. Yep. At one time, they were maybe, we talk about the Bucks. I think Kota and Kenny at one time were the greatest tag team in history. Agreed. They chose to go their own separate ways. They have not been seen publicly together for a very long time. Right. That's why people were shocked. And the fans love a happy ending. Right. And that's what they got to see. Some said that the reason why Coda was flirting with going to WWE was because he was unable to uh, connect the dots properly with Kenny Omega. There have been some, you know, rumors about the level of their relationship over the years. But what we do know is this, Sapporo loved it. The fans on the internet are going wild with what they saw here tonight. Oh, absolutely. And I don't think we should look to label it. it what it is, is maybe the two best athletes mm -hmm. in all of New Japan, maybe in New Japan history, are together again. Right. Are they going to be a tag team? Are they going to be friends? Am I going to see them out at the airport having a coffee? I don't know. Right. We but don't know anything more than that at this moment in time. That's why we will continue to follow this story. Now, we do want to make sure that we have everybody watching and everybody paying attention because the next few days for New Japan Pro Wrestling are going to be monumental. Not only do tickets go on sale tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time for Strong Style Evolve on March 25th, Make sure you go to njpw1972.com to get your tickets. But then you follow the road to New Beginning in Osaka. Two events, the 5th and 6th, Cork and Hall. We will be there broadcasting live with English commentary. I promise you my voice will be fine by then. And then we go to Osaka. Don will be back. And we'll be all together again on February 10th. We're sold out in 26 days, or 26 days out. It took to sell out that building. Fastest sellout in Osaka history. All the titles on the line with uh, Chaos versus LIJ in singles matches, including our main event with Okada defending the IWGP Heavyweight Championship against Sonata, who looks ready to go after tonight. What are you going to do now? Give me, we got about 30 seconds left. 
What's well, your next move as family I, with Kenny Omega? I, well, you know, I mean, family gets together, family has each other. I gotta go see what the hell is going on. All right, we okay. will do that. Thank you very much, Don, I appreciate that. Fans, everybody is talking about what happened here tonight in Sapporo. Share your thoughts on social media, give us your thoughts. Fans, for, for Don Callis, I'm Kevin Kelly. The road to New Beginning continues. We'll see you at Cork and Hall, everybody, and we say goodnight from Sapporo.